this is about uh, Cyberlink Power Director 11. Uh, I've had problems with a nag box popping up every time I opened it up. Uh, the nag box was CLQT Kernel Client 32 is corrupt. Uh, you'll see here that if I'm going to show you exactly what happens. There it is coming up now. Actually, uh, the second second box that came up said the program was shutting down, but it never did. Uh, it's just a pain in the neck. So I went to a, a Googled it and uh, went to a site where they said showed how to get rid of it. I'm going to put that address in the uh, in the information line. Uh, now we're going to go back up to it uh, since that I took. Actually, it's Apple QuickTime that's corrupt. Uh, Okay, now we're going to go back to my uh, uh, screenshot of my, my computer. I'm going to go back up to uh, Cyberlink Power Director 11 and show you that uh, the nag message is gone. The nag message is uh, with Apple QuickTime. It's not with Cyberlink. Uh, you delete Apple QuickTime and the nag message is gone. Okay, here we go. Getting ready to go up now. See a little white cursor on there? All right, no nag message. I'm going to show you. <laughs> There's the cursor of uh, showing you where the little white box used to show up. It just was driving me crazy. For about three or four months, I kept trying to get rid of it. I downloaded uh, Cyberlink 11 uh, three or four times. It didn't do any good. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helps some people out. Take care. Bye.